In this segment, let me show you some mixing techniques in Logic Pro 9. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, engage the mixer, which you can see there. Now, if you want more screen real estate, you can always get rid of your transport, which will allow you to see more of uh, your mixer. You could also get rid of the inspector to see more of the mixer. But you may still run into some problems as you start to add more plugins. Uh, you'll see that I have one set of plugins, or one of my instruments, the Rip Your Face Off Bass, has a number of plugins. I've only got one slot open. So if I were to say add uh, an EQ to that, you're going to see eventually, you know, you're going to start losing what's going on in terms of the bottom. So an easier way of getting around this without changing the views on your arrangement page is to use your screen sets. Screen sets are right up here. I've gone ahead and actually set up a couple screen sets just based on the mixer, different, looking at different mixers. So I'm going to hit number two and go to screen set two, which is just a mixer. Right now it's set up to be just the arrangement page. You can also do a screen set that's set up to just show you audio, just to show you instruments, one that may just have auxes and buses. So this way you can very quickly navigate around. Like you can set it up where it's just instruments, just audio tracks, just auxes and buses, however you want to do it, whatever is easiest for you. So let's go ahead and uh, engage the mix. Here we go. First thing I'm going to do is focus on my Ultra Beat kit. And let's go ahead, I'll move back to my arrangement. Let's set up a loop around uh, a section that has a lot of information, like right there at measure, well, really, at measure 49 seems to be the best place to do this because it's going to have everything going on at once. So this is sort of the densest part of the mix. This has all of the tracks playing. So there's my drum tracks. Output. And the next thing I'm going to do is make sure the ultra beat is set up for the multiple output. So I'm going to move uh, my kick. I'm going to move it to, I'll keep my kick on uh, the main output. And I'm going to move the snares to three and four. I'm going to move the hi-hats, which are up here. We'll move those to five and six. I can close the device, and if we go back here, you'll notice now that I've put that in the multi-output mode, I can add a number of auxiliaries to that. So this is going to be my kick, this will be the snare, and this will be the hi-hat. So I want to focus, make sure my kick is nice and punchy, which it is. And I'm just going to look at it with the EQ, just to see how much low end I'm pulling. I'm going to shape it a little bit, just maybe cut off a little bit there at like 30 hertz using that low cut filter. And uh, I may drop a little bit out. It seems like it's peaking right there, just above between probably 55 and 60. A great way to tell is you can actually boost. At, at a certain frequency, 